Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Four days ago, some people came here to come and complain about the hardships that they are going through that is the high price of fuel high price of millimil high price of uh, of uh, of uh, fertilizer and generally the suffering of the people in society yes when they came they had placards some of the placards read no tribalism some of the placards read we say no to uh, tribal appointments and regional appointments but when they came to complain to me i think four people spoke from that group four people spoke and none of them referred to tribe none of them referred to tribe the first one complained saying we have come here to apologize to you because you told us that things will be bad in future if you change government he spoke about the change of government not anything to do with tribe the second one also spoke about change of government and what i warned the people and i used to say and i quote don't change government because these people in the opposition are telling you that the high cost of living when will come the prices of commodities will go down and i used to tell them it will be worse under the upnd because the upnd will come and remove subsidies today the cost of commodities are lower because we have subsidies under pf now when you listen to the discourse of the upnd they are saying we are going to remove subsidies and i said fuel will be expensive electricity will be expensive millimeter uh, 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 will be expensive and all services and goods will be expensive and that's basically how those people came to apologize that they've experienced the hardships that i used to advise them unfortunately when they were coming in they were singing a song that uh, we need that we need to anina pangombe and when they came here i made it very clear crystal clear anybody can check the recording anybody can check what i told them i said look when you come to do a thing like this to complain or to bring your issues don't disparage other tribes and don't come in the name of tribalism i told them the song that you were singing as you were coming in that to alikwebe that eh eh nina mu ato anina pangombe you are disparaging the people of southern province who are synonymous with keeping keto and i said if this is the way you are going to behave never come to me because i don't subscribe to tribalism it must be devoid of tribalism the symbol of upnd is kwanja ukuboko so if you are 
Kuboko, it's something else. But if you are saying to Anina Pangonga people and the people of Southern Province who keep animals, who keep cattle, and they said, thank you very much for the advice. The same evening, my younger brother Chitambala, the one called, uh, known as Mwelwalen, uh, 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 what do they call him? Mwewalin Chitambala went and attacked me that Chishimba Kambwidi was being tribal when those uh, boys visited his house. Surely Mwewam Yinan, Nangumaripato Muntu, Mufayo Kumu Nawi Leshina, that is a tribalist. Where was tribalism in what I told the, the the, the young people. If you have a tila panochalo, the papa kuamia. Nangumalipatum nenu mwewa. Why I start record something? No, Bakambuidi, you were wrong, you were you were being tribal, you were uh, promoting tribalism. I did not answer to mwewa. I left it there. At nineteen hours, President Haka Inde Ichilema called me. Unfortunately, I did not hear the phone ring. In the morning on Saturday when I woke up, I found the missed call from the president. And he had sent me, he had forwarded me Mwewa's discourse. And there was a message that he wrote to me. And I caught what the president wrote to me which is very, very unfortunate. This is what the president wrote to me. He said, my dear colleague, Mr. Kambwili, I am sure you are aware that it is a crime to promote tribalism in Zambia. End of quote. When I saw this message, I was extremely surprised. I called the president back and we spoke for 45 minutes. I told him, my dear president and my dear brother, I am shocked that you have written this message threatening me because this is threatening for the president to write, to write a message to a citizen and tell them, are you aware that uh, promoting tribalism is an offense? So I told him, what have I done for you to write this message? I know those people who came to your home were singing that Twanina uh, Pangombe. I asked him, my dear brother, have you watched the recording of what I said to those people, the discourse between those young men and I? He said, no. I said, look, in that discourse, I castigated those young men over the singing of that song because i don't subscribe to tribalism the same way you felt that it was offensive for them to sing that song it's the same way i felt when they came and it is on record i can even send you the link for you to know that uh, uh, you know for you to know that i was not pleased or amused by that song we discussed for about 45 minutes. He brought in issues of saying, no, 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 you, during the campaign, you were saying people must not vote for a tongue. I challenged him. I said, you can go and get all the audios, both on radio and my discourse at public rallies. There is not even a single day that I said never vote for a Tonga president. To the contrary, I was condemning the region of voting in Southern Province. And I said, since UPND was formed, the people in Southern Province have only voting for the UPND and records are there to show. And I told the people we should not vote on tribal lines. Because if you vote on tribal lines, 
supposing the people in northern province also start saying we are also going to vote for our own supposing the people in lambaland says we are going to vote for our lamba colleague suppose those in northwestern suppose those in eastern province we are going to divide the country this was my message throughout where i went he told me no 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 you were saying you should not vo vote for haga haga or higi higi i said no mr president you misunderstood me i was saying look if provinces start voting the way they voted in southern province in the previous uh, three elections for instance if the tongas formed a government as a tribe by voting their own opportunity let me leave out Mulenga. if there is a band that they say leave out band if there is anybody with the name ha ha or he he they say give him the job all i was saying was to advise people against regional voting and never underline this where i said never vote for a tonga president why would i think so low secondly i am on record all the recordings in wapula all the recordings in muchinga and all the recordings in northern northern province and i challenge the president i can send the links i still have them i was say telling the people don't vote on tribal lines even me as chishimba Kambri. if i come to northern province and say vote for me you should reject me then i don't mean well because we should not promote tribalism and the region of voting i told him i challenge you mr president so he said no then it is just a, a question of uh, misunderstanding or interpretation i said yes i have always wanted to have this discourse with you because this idea of you saying come is a tribalist has gotten out of hand i'm not a tribalist and i told him look my father's family are seventh day and my father was seventh day i am catholic myself my father was seventh day my younger brothers my younger sisters are married to tongas because in the seventh day the major tribes are bemba and tonga so my brothers and sisters are married within the church and they've married tongas and some loses now if i become a, a tribalist how am i going to treat my name my niece Lusubilo? I mean, how am i going to treat my niece mutinta my nephew makwaza how and where am i going to take them i said this to the president on our discussion and i said i hope i've made myself clear and please don't treat me like somebody who hates the tongas i love the tonga people I have nothing against the tonga people ask my young my sister-in-law and my brothers-in-law who are tonga the way i treat them how do people start you see the only thing is people want to create an impression that i hate the tongas i hate uh, the tonga so that the tonga people cannot give me their vote that is not right and I think we must stop this forthwith. So today, I left my house and went uh, to the farm. When I came back, I was told police came to bring a call out that they want you at force headquarters. I even remembered they have been instructed by the president because they threatened me. He told me that this is an offense, but I never committed any offense. Suffice to state, that's, this is not the first time that the president is threatening me. Again, when I spoke about African, he sent me a message to say, you are going to find yourself in hot soup and you fail to come out of these problems. Now, how do we have a president who threatens citizens? And when we say police are instructed from state house, people think it's a joke. What have I done? for you mr president to send police of me all the records are there even the police officers who are being unprofessional i know what instructions you've been given because i did find out from the system and they've said no the instructions they've given us is to lock you up like tayari 
don't give you police bond, don't take you to court on time, three, seven or ten days behind bars. Let me tell you, Mr. President, I'm used to this. I have been treated like this before. I was arrested 16 times. And every time I was arrested, I was detained not less than five days. And by the way, I have even been to jail. I was in jail for 18 days on political intimidation and political uh, 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 you know, persecution. I am used. And for you who brought the call out, please bring it back tomorrow morning I'm around and I'll report myself. I will not be intimidated in my own country. So, I want to tell you that I will not be scared. Come tomorrow, bring the call out, or phone me, tell me where I'm required, because they didn't collect the call, the call out, so we don't know what is there. But I've been told that police brought a call out that I should report myself to force headquarters. And I know it is under the instruction of the president. Mr. President, you've forgotten so fast what you and I went through. You've forgotten so fast what you were complaining about. And you want to use the police to intimidate your opponents. Even sending them messages, this is a, a serious offense. Two times you threatened me. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> so go and detain me the, one, the way you want to detain me. But I challenge you, we we'll meet in court and see whether I've committed an offense of tribalism. Don't start intimidating people. In any case, in any case, me, if somebody says, if somebody says you are a thief and I'm not a thief, I'll not panic. I will not panic. But when people are saying something and you start panicking even to want to arrest those who are innocent, I'll leave it to the Zambian, what it means. So please, and I want to warn Mubanga, Minister of uh, uh, Small and Medium Enterprise. Today I was watching you when you had the Bemba people explaining about tribalism. The Bemba ministers. You said, and I quote, Bakambuile Keni Fiakulashita promote tribalism. Ukulari Pilava Icheva Isa Kunga Ndakumi Enfo tribalism. Mubang, I don't play dirty politics. Where I, I pay people to come and to me. This house, a lot of people come to complain. Today, I had a delegation from Comesa complaining about how they are being treated. I don't pay people to do that. And I'll take you on. My lawyers are already writing to you to justify that accusation. And also, Mwerwalen, my lawyers, uh, uh, Fred Jerry and company are writing to you so that you can justify that. This country belongs to all of us. Tonga, Bemba, Lozi, Namwanga, Kaonde, everybody is a Zambian. And when somebody is discouraging something, it doesn't mean he's promoting it. I can challenge everybody to play, even tomorrow, start playing what I used to say in the campaign on ZNBC and see whether I was promoting tribalism or discouraging tribalism. You see, with me, when I say something that I realize is not pleasing or people are not happy with it, I apologize. For instance, when I said that in southern province, even if Jesus came they will, uh, and, and stood for elections, they will vote for HH and not, uh, uh, not Jesus. I realized that was offensive to the Tonga people. I went to the Tonga chiefs and apologized. But I'm not going to apologize for what I never did. People have gone, tribalist, hey, tribalist. I'm not a tribalist. 
Our family believes in diversity. That's why we marry from all over. We don't just marry from one tribe. So to try and paint, create an impression that Kambuid is, is a, a tribalist is neither here nor there. Even you, Secretary General of UPND, my lawyers are also writing to you for you to say that Kambuid was, uh, was uh, being tribal towards the people of the Copper Belt, the people of Central Province, the people of Lusaka Province, the people of Northwestern, and the people of Western. Why do you want these people in these areas to rise against me? I only gave an example of the voting pattern in Southern Province. I never spoke of the voting pattern in Western Province. I never spoke of the voting pattern in the Northwestern, Copper Belt, Central, Lusaka, etc. But you want to create a narrative. That's, that's what I did for your own selfish political need so that these people can rise against me as an individual that is not correct so my dear police are the last people that i fear because when i know that i've not done any, anything i'm not scared i can tell you tomorrow when they bring the call out i will appear but i know that it is under your instruction that you want me to be detained i am ready for that 18 days in jail is not a job for five days or ten days in police custody what we need to do in this country sort out what the people are complaining about sort out the cost of millimeter sort out the cost of petrol today you just increased the price of petrol Sort out the shortage of fertilizer. Sort out the shortage of millimil. In Kawe, they are lining up for millimil. In most rural areas, the price of millimil has now gone to 240. And you are telling us, go and eat uh, rural meal. We don't want to eat rural meal. We also want to eat breakfast. But we should be able to have, afford the breakfast. So sort out, you have so many things to sort out. And like following Shimbaka Mwidi Alan when Shimbaka Mwidi speaks, get the good things that Shimbaka Mwidi is talking about. Don't go and create stories against Shimbaka Mwidi. You are wasting your time. It has been done before. And let me tell you, there is no government that has succeeded by using police to intimidate the opposition except in in uganda but here in zambia immediately a government starts using police then that government is insecure then that government is insecure so you are only telling us you are insecure because if you are working and you know you are delivering to the people of zambia you can't start following trivial issues even accusing other people of things that they have not done but when a government is failing to deliver the signs start coming out through by the way they behave by the way they use the police the way they use the courts then you know this government is a failure but i want to tell you there is room for you people to improve improve on what we talk about but don't start locking up your people you when you were locked up president you cried foul even up to now you arrested for 15 times so you arresting others instead. arrest them there you have arrested Shirufia Tayadi. He's still in detention. And yet when you hold your press conferences, you say, as when you arrest you, the next minute you are given police bond. Yes, Shirufia Tayadi, what he said was not correct. Even me, I've condemned it. Particularly when he, he talked about Mupezeni and when he said all members who support the UPND are useful idiots. That is inappropriate. But if you think he was being tribal, charge him, take him to court. Don't make him rot in detention. And I know 
instructions have been given let him join tayari go and lock him up please charge me tomorrow if you have an offense against me take me to court and let's meet in court and let the court decide whether i was being tribal or not this idea of micromanaging government institutions by state arms must come to an end because i'm telling you you win azarila and let me say this zambians watch whatever you are doing as upnd you can pretend by bringing uh, 40 ministers to try and explain but if the people are complaining no matter what you are going to do the people of zambia will speak in the ballot my advice to you guys get on to work deliver to the zambian people deliver your promises then all of us will be happy the people of zambia will be happy but this idea of no the imf came no the imf this the imf this imf are not voters the americans are not voters and by the way we get into government not to impress the western world to create an enabling environment where the zambians can live happily be able to manage to have free meals be able to manage to take their children to school look after their families afford basic needs once the people are happy you don't need to be explaining to them that we have done this so in upnd guide the president correctly and my dear president avoid do clutch the threaten i'm a citizens when people advise you and on african i wrote to you directly advising you that don't do it but you ended up threatening me that you end up you'll be in very big problems speaking about this african this problem you won't even come out of them finish nachita nemulanda ukweva abantu ati don't sing at pangombe is that tribalism i expected to be given a pat on the back and say well done this is the way we should do but what have i received police call out mbwidi ni mbwidi wa mone mbwidi na ilala na iwo mbat ni shimba kantole you get shot good night god bless zambia Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.